guys, it's Becky with Design Bundles and today I am super excited to teach you how to make your own glitter tumbler. Now don't worry, we're not using uh, any two-part epoxy or anything like that. This process doesn't take a really long time. It's super easy and simple and I'm glad that you're here to do it with me. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are. This is the tumbler that I'm using. Now I know a lot of people are buying the um, Starbucks 24 ounce angled tumblers and that's just fine. Um, but especially when you're first starting out, cause I can get these pretty cheap, I like to use a cheaper style and um, this still accomplishes the same purpose. Now, one thing that I have done is I did already pre-drill a hole in the bottom. Oh, there we go. Okay, and um, I did not do that on the video for you, but basically you just want to drill the hole and because it's double walled, okay, it does not affect the inside of your tumbler, but you do want to make sure that you do not accidentally drill or crack the inside layer. All right, so that's my, that's my hole drilling experience there. So um, if you're wondering how big of a hole you need to drill, what I did was I looked at all the different drill bits available because I'm not a handy crafter, so this was a challenge for me, but um, I just wanted to make sure that the glitter that I had chosen, which is a chunky mix, what it was going to fit through the hole. That was it, that was the only prerequisite, okay? So I'm gonna leave it upside down and let me tell you about the other things that we have going on here. I have my hot glue gun, I have my quick setting epoxy, I have the chunky glitter mix that I was telling you about. I also have glycerin. This is vegetable glycerin and water. Uh, this is my decal that I've already weeded. And then I have, this is an important part. This is a syringe with a needle. There we go. So make sure you keep that cap on when not in use because it's very sharp. And then I do have some little mixing cups here and some stir sticks. Okay. Now, I am going to be mixing the water and the glycerin together. And I know you can't really see, but I did make sure that I had a 50-50 ratio when I was measuring these out. So I can just go ahead and combine them. Now, of course, it doesn't have to be exactly 50-50, um, but that's just what works good for me. So as I mix them, it's gonna start to get cloudy, but don't worry because it will turn clear again. Okay, there we go. So this is where my needle comes into play. Now, um, I know that some people go ahead and jump straight into adding glitter, uh, but I do like to get a little bit of the water and glycerin mix in the tumbler before I jump in with glitter. And it can be a challenge getting the mixture up into the syringe, but you just have to be patient. It will fill up, okay? And then you're just gonna take the end of your needle and just start inserting the water and glycerin into your tumbler. Now I filled it up probably about a third of the way up. I think it came out to about two, two and a half syringes. Okay, so we're gonna pause on the water and glycerin real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and start adding glitter. Now my glitter comes in these little bags, so just the best way that I can, I'm going to try to pour the glitter straight in. Now there's, don't let me mislead you, there's not a way to do this that I found that you're not going to get glitter literally everywhere. Um, I do try to contain it, and I just add a little bit at a time. All right, push it into the hole that I've made, and once I get um, like a little backup of glitter, I will give the tumbler a little shake. And what it does is it moves the glitter out of the way. But I did put down butcher paper and that's to help contain the glitter. And then it'll be up to you how much glitter you want to put in. And I know not a lot of people like that kind of answer, um, but I have done several of these and each one seems to end up with a different amount of glitter. So what I like to remind everybody is that you can always add more glitter, but you're not gonna be able to take it out, okay? Because the way that we're going to do this, I will be able to open it back up if I want to and um, pour out some glycerin and add more glitter, 
but I'm not going to be able to remove glitter once it's in there. That is the impossible task. So just keep adding glitter. Um, I usually, I guess it depends on how you feel about glitter. I'm going to go on the lighter side this time because um, if I get too much glitter in there, um, when I go to move it around, it doesn't feel like it moves around as much. So I feel like less is more. Now if you have like cool shaped glitter or you using like super chunky glitter, you might even want to go a little lighter. Now if you're using um, shaped glitter or super chunky glitter, you might even go a little lighter than what I'm going because that larger glitter takes up a lot of room. Now this is another downfall of putting the glycerin and water in first is um, the glitter does get stuck. Now I'm not saying that you know people who put the glitter and uh, put the glitter in first. Now I'm not saying that people who put the glitter in first have a super easy time doing this, but I do think it's a little bit more complicated once you have um, wet the inside of your tumbler with that glitter. Once you've wet the inside of the tumbler with that uh, water and glycerin mixture. Okay, when you're ready to start getting an idea of what your tumbler is going to look like, you can start um, adding the water and glycerin mixture again. And this can also help to move some of that glitter out of the way if you need to. But you can just wash some of that glitter down in there. Okay, so we're going to add just a little bit more glitter and then we will fill up the rest of our tumbler. Okay, so dust off your hands. And let's get to working on filling up our tumbler. Okay, so I did take off my needle at the end. It's just obviously much quicker, but I am going to put it on because what I wanna do is once I get this filled up, I need to try to get out some of the air bubbles and I find that the having the needle on there helps me kind of target those if that makes any sense. Okay, so I have it filled up and I have water coming out of the hole. Okay, what I want to do is go ahead and try to give it a shake. I want to work up any air bubbles that I can find or see and I want to get those air bubbles near the hole, near my opening. Okay, so my opening is here. So what I can do is take this needle and put it right there where that air bubble is and try to get that air bubble out. Now don't be alarmed if you have some glitter that comes out with it. I mean, you're just gonna have glitter everywhere by the time this is over anyway. All right, now wipe off the surface of your tumbler. Now I came prepared with several paper towels here. And try your best um, not to get the glycerin and water mixture on your tumbler. It just makes it really slimy feeling. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to top off my tumbler with hot glue. I don't have to use a lot. And I'm going to let that dry. And after that dries, I will be able to shake my tumbler and um, get any pockets of air out and that sort of thing. See how I feel about my glitter. And um, that way, if I need to make any changes, I can actually pop that hot glue right out of there. So the hot glue is not permanent. We're not done, but just letting you know the purpose of why I'm using the hot glue first. Okay, so let's give this about five minutes and we will come back. Okay, so our five minutes is up. We're back in business. You can feel that the hot glue has cooled. All right, now you really want to, when I say shake it, you really want to get in some vigorous shaking. I also like to make sure I go side to side. Um, part of what you want to do is try to work the glitter out from underneath the bottom here. But as you can see, I got some pretty good movement, but I also have a pretty big air bubble here. All right, so those kind of things I want to pay attention to because I will want to isolate that air bubble and try to get it filled when I take the hot glue out, okay? All right, now one thing you want to watch out for during the shaking, I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but I do have like some micro air bubbles here. 
All right, so I want to make sure I get all those in one place too and get them centered right here where my air bubble is. Okay, so let's go ahead and load our syringe, get it ready. Now, you may need um, a pair of tweezers or a knife to be able to get this hot glue up. And we're gonna peel it completely off. Okay, now with the syringe, we're gonna try to hit all the area that we can see that has air bubbles. Dry up your excess water, but this time try not to leach any water up through the hole. Okay, now I'm coming back in with the hot glue, but this time I'm gonna let it dry just a little bit and then I'm going to smash it down into that opening that I have, okay? It may push some water out, that's okay. But we wanna create um, almost like a plug. Okay, we want to plug that hole as much as we can. Dry it off. That looks pretty ugly, right? And technically you could still pry it out if you wanted to. So if you wanna check your air bubbles again, that's okay. I'm gonna do one more layer. So this time I'm going to use a craft stick. You can use anything that you want and I'm just going to flatten out the top of that. Okay, now I'm not saying that this is the best way to do it, but this is what works for me. So I'm hoping that this is what's gonna work for you. Once that's dry, this is where we're gonna go ahead and start mixing our quick set epoxy. Now this, I've had floating around my house for a long time. So it's definitely something that, I mean, I know I've had it at least a year, probably more. And I don't need a lot. I just want to mix out a little bit. All right, go ahead and seal that back up. Now, if you've noticed, I actually have two cups here. And that's because um, the quick set epoxy heats up pretty good. So not only I don't want that on my fingers, but um, I found in the past that it, uh, it can warp the cup too. So I don't really wanna play that game. I found that if I use two of these little medicine cups that it comes out just fine. Also, you can see it's, it's actually like yellow. Same thing with the hot glue, it's, it's not clear. Um, so those will be decisions for you um, if you want to worry about that. Now the last one that I did with this quick set epoxy, it dried clear, uh, but I do know that technically um, they yellow and can yellow. Okay, so completely up to you. If you, I've actually heard of some crafters, if you're already doing epoxy tumblers, then you can take a little bit of your two-part epoxy and just do a solid layer on the bottom. Um, I don't really wanna do all that here. So I'm just going to get some. I'm going to apply it over my hot glue. Now I probably over apply. I just get two dabs on there. It's my official measurement, it's a dab. And then the same stick that I used here, what I do is I go ahead and smooth it out. Okay, now I'm using my side for a gauge, basically so I know that this epoxy is not gonna stick up any farther than the sides of my tumbler. So you don't end up with a bump on the bottom that your tumbler isn't going to stand flat. So I feel like I have a pretty good seal. If I want, I can keep adding just till I get a good, good coverage. I don't wanna take the risk that this is going to leak because the problem is, is if water leaks out, that means the air is getting in. So that's not the game I wanna play with my tumbler. So I'm going to let this cure. Um, it has a five minute set time. So uh, I will be back in another five minutes. Okay, so while I was waiting on this to cure, I cleaned up our work area. And um, as you can see, that's completely solid. There's nothing left to dry. And I can set it down and it has not affected how my tumbler sits. Now this is the decal that I'm using. Got this off designbundles.net, of course. So let's go ahead and 
apply it to our tumbler. Now, as you can see, my glitter congregates at the top and the bottom, which is good. I just need to find where I want to put this. Now, what I did was I left a little bit of my transfer tape hanging off the edge here so that when I position it, okay, there we go. So I just slide it down and then I can pull up my, my backing and just lay it back down into place. Okay, and there we go. That is my glitter tumbler. I have the purple holographic glitter and the purple holographic decal. Now I can, um, obviously I want to wait about 72 hours before I wash it to make sure that my decal is cured on there. But overall, this is finished. I can just put my straw in there and we're good to go. So, what did you think about our tumbler? I really think it turned out great. I think uh, luckily we ended up with the perfect amount of glitter. And uh, I also love this Halloween, but this is super easy, easy enough that you could do this for any holiday and inexpensive, right? So I really, really enjoyed doing this with you. And of course, if you have any questions about what we've done or the project or your machine, make sure you leave those in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel because we always have a lot of great ideas for you right around the corner. Thanks for stopping in today. We'll see you guys next time.